Hi everyone, it's Matthew Cavallo here from Ray White. Well, what an interesting time the last two months have been. We've gone from really strong sales month in February to COVID-19 hitting us in March. Over this period, we've seen some big changes in the real estate market, and I'd like to talk to you about those today. One of the major things that we've seen was the government's restrictions on public auctions and open houses. Luckily for us, they have been eased as of this Saturday, and that should really make a difference to the way we're operating. This said, over the period of the four weeks, we've conducted 16 online auctions with 14 of those selling under the hammer. So we've had great success. What we're finding is there's still lots of buyers out there that are looking to buy, although they're just being more cautious than they were earlier in the year. Over the past couple of weeks, we've had two really standout results. One of those is 48 Brown Street in Newtown, where we set a new record for the highest house sale for this year. Another great sale we had was a house at 3 Avona Street in Glebe, which we auctioned last weekend. I had four registered bidders. This home was only purchased 12 months ago for 1.48 million and we sold it under the hammer on Saturday for a sale price just shy of 1.8. Some really great news we've had in the last fortnight, we have seen buyer activity pick up. I think also too with the introduction of the open homes again this weekend, we'll really see some stuff happening. Some of the great news is over the last fortnight, we've really seen an increase in buyer activity. Everyone has been so disciplined and everyone I think has a bit more confidence that we're really slowing the curve. To back this up, realestate.com this week has released some figures. The buyer activity on their website is increasing 12% week on week. And it's also up a massive 40% of buyer activity from this time last year. Balmain, Alexandria and Annandale made the list of the top 10 most searched suburbs during this period. What that tells me is when the market contracts, buyers are naturally drawn to those blue chip inner city suburbs. These suburbs are usually less vulnerable to market changes than some of the outer suburbs. What we are also seeing is there's about a 40% reduction on the amount of property that's for sale at the moment. This, I think, will help maintain values right throughout the suburbs that we're servicing. But what we may see is the areas where there's a heavy investor market, we may see some of these investors try to offload their property once we get out of that mortgage bank holiday period. This said, people are still seeing real estate as a nice stable investment. We're at record low interest rates and we avoid that volatility that stock market offers. One of the things I'm noticing at the moment is for investors looking to get into the real estate market, there's a great opportunity at the moment because you actually can buy a property and be positively geared at the moment, which we haven't seen that in at least 10 years from memory. While things are still okay, we've still got a long way to go. I want everyone to ensure they look after themselves, stay safe, and if I can offer any advice or help, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm Matt, and I look forward to seeing you soon.